Hi, this is Alan Haynes from PhotoCitizen.com, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use ProShow Gold's built-in slide styles. To get started, first we'll drag an image down into the timeline, then we'll double-click that image using our left mouse button, and that'll bring up the Slide Options window. Here we'll click on the tab that says Slide, and under that the sub-tab Slide Styles. Once you do this, you'll notice down below there's a long list of slide styles available that come with ProShow Gold. In order to make it a little easier to find what we're looking for, we can go over to this Categories drop-down and choose one of these types of categories that will it'll reduce the list a little bit. For today's lesson, we're going to use a basic montage, so we'll click on that. And then we're going to scroll down and find the montage that we want to use. The one we're going to use is called Display of 3 Expanding. If we click on that once, it will give us a preview up above here, uh, basically what the motion is going to be and how it's going to look. Now once we've determined that this is the style that we want to apply, we have to click this Apply button here. Don't be tempted to just come out and hit OK and make this window disappear. If you do that, the slide style will not be applied. So we'll click the Apply button. You'll get a message box uh, asking you to confirm that that's what you want to do. So click OK. And now you've applied this style. Now once we've done that, you'll notice over in this section called Layers, there are four layers used in this particular style, and two of the layers, layer 1 and layer 4, are already populated with the image that we had dragged in earlier. There are two layers with no image, so we're going to need to put images in those. The easiest way to do that is click on one of the layers over here, click Select File, navigate to the folder where your images are stored, and then we'll find one, let's pick this one here, and click Open, and it will populate that layer. We'll do the same thing with Layer 2. And now we've got four layers, and let's see what it looks like by clicking on this Preview button up here. You can see that it uses the first layer as an image in the uh, background and also as an image moving across the background. Now once we've got that all sorted out, we can click OK and we're done with this particular image. Now this slide style that we've chosen works in two parts. If we go back into slide styles by double clicking on this slide again, we'll see that right below the slide style that we chose, which is called Display of 3 Expanding, there's another slide style called Display of 3 Still. And by adding this style to another slide after the first one that we just worked on, you can have the images expand apart like we saw and then stand still for a few seconds so that people can get a good look at them. So we're going to use that next to make a second slide. So what we're going to do again is to add a second slide here that's going to have exact same images in the exact same place but what they will do is instead of expanding, they're just going to stay in that final position for a few seconds. Because we need the same images in both uh, slides and, and have to be on the same layers in order for this to work, the easiest way to accomplish this is to copy the first slide into the second one. So I'm going to right click on the first image. I'm going to say copy. I'll go to the second image, which is blank at this point, and click paste. And now we have an exact duplicate of the first image. To this, we're going to apply the new slide style that I showed you a moment ago. So we'll double click, get to the Slide Options window, come down here a little bit and choose the slide style called Display of 3 Still. And we'll see, you can see over here the layers are all exactly the same. And we're going to click Apply. OK. And 
OK. Now, let's look at it, see if we accomplished our goal. This is the first slide, expanding apart. And then the second slide, it just stays still. All right, we're almost there. There's a couple things we have to change. First of all, because uh, this slide is moving smoothly into the motion of the second slide, we don't need a transition. Transition actually uh, makes the second image look a little jittery. So we're going to change the transition time to zero. And we're going to click on the transition and change it to a cut transition. So cut with zero time is basically no transition at all. Let's look at it now. We'll just start it from the end of the uh, first slide, so we don't have to watch the whole thing. It's expanding, and then it stops. All right, now the only other problem, let's stop it for a second. The only other problem we have that we don't really want uh, this whole slide to run for 12 seconds, six seconds for the first one, six for the second. We just want it to hold for maybe two seconds before it'll move on to the next slide. So I've just changed the slide, the duration uh, of this slide to two seconds. And one more time, let's watch the whole thing from the beginning. It's expanding apart. We're still on the first slide. Now we're on the second slide. And then it would move on to the third slide if we had one. So we've just completed a very short slideshow using ProShow's built-in slide styles. But before we end this lesson, let me show you one thing that might get you in a little bit of trouble. It took me a while to figure it out, so I might as well share it with you now. Let's go back into the slide styles for this first slide by double clicking on it. And let's say that we wanted to change the position of two of these images. Because if we look at the preview right now, you see the flag image goes up to the upper left. This shopping cart image kind of stays in the center. What if we wanted the flag to be in the center? and the shopping cart image to be the one that's moving off to the left up here. You might think that you could just move these layers around. So let's say we could click on this shopping cart and using these arrows move this layer up above the flag. And it looks like it, now the flag is the center image. However, if you click on the preview, you'll see that that's still going to the upper left. It's just now behind this one. So all that did was hide the uh, flag image behind the shopping cart image. If you want to do that, that's fine, but that's not what we wanted to accomplish. I'm going to move it back. What The easiest way to do this is to just overwrite the images in these layers. So what I mean is, I'm going to click on the, sh the flag image, I'm going to hit select file, and I'm going to replace it with that shopping cart image. Then I'm going to click on the old shopping cart image on layer 2, Go to Select File and click on the flag image. And now we've just replaced the two. If we do a preview now, we'll see that we have indeed accomplished what we wanted to do. The flag is now the center image. Now in order to make our show work, we'll have to do the same thing with the second slide. So let's click the next arrow over here to go to the second slide and repeat those steps. Click on layer 1, select file, grab the shopping cart image, layer 2, select file, and we'll grab the flag image. And we'll hit OK. Play the whole thing back from the beginning. And there we go. We've got the flag in the middle on the first slide. Now it goes to the second slide and holds. So that's today's lesson on how to use ProShow Gold's built-in slide styles. In an upcoming lesson, we'll learn how to modify a slide style and then save it as your own. So keep an eye out on photocitizen.com for more lessons on ProShow Gold.